Hello patients, uh, my name is Dr. Vipul Mishra. I am a senior consultant physician and chest specialist. Um, I devote most of my time treating uh, chest diseases like COPD and asthma and diabetes. Uh, today I will be talking uh, about diabetes. Uh, whenever doctors talk about diabetes, they basically talk more about from their perspective. I would rather like to talk about diabetes from the patient's perspective, perspective because uh, <coughs> the patients are the ones who are suffering from diabetes and they need to understand the disease pretty well. Uh, my patients as well as doctors both recognize that uh, the common perception is from the patient's point of view is that diabetes is a disease in which the blood sugars remain high. And in the last 5-10 years uh, there has been so much awareness about diabetes that patients now also recognize that diabetes is not just about elevation of blood sugar. Uh, it's the effects of those bad effects of the elevation of blood sugar that actually results in, uh, in complications. And we all understand that when blood sugars remain elevated about abo above a certain level for a long duration of time, they can end up damaging all the organs of the body. And that is why uh, so much effort is being put both from, from the doctors as well as the pa the, uh, from the patients to manage all these aspects of diabetes. Uh, I remember one of, one of my very smart patients telling me that uh, diabetes is like it's, like it's like a bank deposit, right? Uh, just like a bank deposit, you just keep, keep on incurring small and small, saving small and small amount and at the end of 10, 15, 20 years you get a huge amount and that's what diabetes uh, is about. That's what he said, that you, you just keep keep uh, keep managing small things, keep um, tag off so many things that, it, that, are in, that are involved in diabetes, take small steps towards preventing it and treating it and at the end of 10, 15, 20 years you, what you have is a healthy body in, in spite of be having diabetes. Uh, hence uh, what I would like to say from uh, now is that uh, the treatment of diabetes is not just about popping pills or taking insulin. In fact, uh, I say that it's the second or third step in treating diabetes. The first step, obviously, is to prevent it from happening. The second step, that if you have diabetes, is to adopt all that lifestyle changes that that come a very become have become a very important factor in treatment of diabetes. Uh, with a lot of research that has gone on in the last 10, 10 years uh, in diabetes, we have now come to recognize that we can do something about prevention of diabetes. Now, we all know that diabetes is now, in, at least in India, an epidemic disease. It has been postulated that in the very near future, we will have 2% of our entire huge population suffering from this dreaded disease. So, obviously, treatment would not be very, just, just concentrating on treating would not be a logical thing. The intelligent thing would be trying to prevent it, and we all know that besides genetic, a very important part that has now uh, uh, contributes to the, to the development of this disease is uh, the, our urban lifestyle, uh, which involves not not exercising, being obese, eating all the wrong foods, stress, and associated increase in all other conditions like uh, hypertension, like uh, heart disease, which when come together leads to in increased complications. So uh, adopting a healthy lifestyle is, is the most important thing, in both in prevention of diabetes as well as treating it. And patients who follow lifestyle modification uh, or, or take it very seriously are the ones who benefit it from the most. And so when you meet your doctor uh, 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 and say that, okay, look doctor, I have diabetes. So uh, when, when patients come to me, I don't just start writing drugs and medicines or insulin to these patients. Uh, medicines and insulins are very potent and very important in, in, in treating diabetes and keeping complications under control. But I would like to stress here that lifestyle modification is, is, is more important. Keeping your weight down keeping your cholesterol level in check, adapting a heavy, uh, healthy lifestyle, abstaining from alcohol and smoking, uh, exercising regularly, uh, 
to a point i i mean i have patients who say okay i i, I ask them well, how much exercise do you do they tell me that yeah doctor in the evening after having lunch i take a stroll so uh, this is not exercise exercise has to be the result in lot of calories uh, your heart rate goes up and this is this is what an exercise has to be a discipline exercise uh so once you adapt all these lifestyle modifications then comes the role, role of medicines and we all know that medicines of for diabetes are basically of two types you pop, either you pop up pills or take insulin or you have combination of both these things but i would stress again from patient perspective is that treatment of diabetes is not just only lifestyle modification and medicine it involves so many other things you can check the early to see whether you are developing any complications to treat those complications at very very early stage for example if a patient has a diabetes history of 15 years and start getting some kidney involvement of the kidneys now treatment of treatment of that kidney involvement at a very early stage goes a very long way in in preventing uh, serious kidney complications and preventing end stage kidney failure which is such an important thing now millions of patients all over the world uh, develop kidney failure and end up in having dialysis because probably their di- diabetes were not well managed well for the last 10 15 years hence it is very important from the patient's perspective perspective that patient knows about it about his or her disease almost as much as the doctor knows that's why personally i stress my the, the my the prime focus of of treating diabetes is to educate the patient to know to to let him know and to educate him and to encourage him to learn about his disease as much as he can so that he can he he can know how to uh, how to prevent it how to treat it and, and and that is how the doctor and the patient form a team and the patient ends up ends up having a very good quality of life a quality of life free from complications a quality of life which is as normal as anybody else thank you